Continuing with um, things starting in the spiritual, manifesting in the physical, and how there's always a sign outside. Um, there is a sign on my way to work. It's actually a, it's a movie poster. Um, I always pay attention to movie posters or like the premieres of things that are happening because a lot of the times like the catchphrases or like the title of the movie or whatever will actually reflect something that's going on. So this one is the dawn of the planet of the apes. Um, it comes out July 11th and the poster, there's a few different versions of the posters. Um, one of them says, pray for peace, prepare for war. Um, the other one is Caesar. Caesar is the name of like the lead ape. Um, he is riding outside of San Francisco on a dark horse with a giant gun in his hand. Um, like, wah! And um, the San Francisco Bridge is burning behind him. Um, so I think that that's ironic that it comes out um, July 11th, like kind of after the 4th of July prophecy that I put out. Um, pray for peace, prepare for war. Um, this this poster has been up for a little while, and it has, bu it has been bugging me for probably about a month and a half. Um, it's one of the reasons why I started making videos, because I've just got too much... <laughs> Now that I opened the door to this, I feel like there's just so much more coming to me, and it's, I don't know if I should have opened the door. Um, but, so there's that. Um, I would just like to point out that apes, monkeys, fling poo at each other. So, it's kind of like a shit hits the fan scenario. Um... Also, like, we think of monkeys or apes as, like, a lesser species than us. Um, but I would just also like to point out that they are not the ones who are destroying the Earth. So, let's just saying that. Um, but if we're looking at the typical perspective where we think of something as, like, maybe not as evolved or smart, um, then if there is the dawn of the planet of the apes, that means that it's like the dawn of something... I'm trying to think of the right wording for this. It's just like when you think of apes, you think of them kind of hopping around and going, ooh, ooh, ah, blah, 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 like, you know, fighting with each other, banging on their chests, that kind of thing. Yes, the dawn of that kind of planet, except that it's going to be mankind, not apes. Um, our ape-like natures are going to be coming out. Also, um, speaking of watching movie premieres, there's one that I saw on online today that caught my eye, um, and it is called Drones. <laughs> so, okay, the headline, the catchphrase for this is, The War of the Future is Up in the Air. So, there are three ways to interpret this. Um... Literally, the war of the future is up in the air with drones, blah, blah, blah. I don't really resonate with that. I just don't think that that's, yes, I know they're drones. I don't think that that's what's happening at this present moment. Second way, the war of the future is up in the air, as in spiritually. There is a spiritual war going on that we can't necessarily see. It's still there. Third, the war of the future is up in the air, like the phrase that we use, the expression, as in something is up in the air, it's not set in stone, it's not settled. Um, meaning that um, there is a giant possibility of a war. Um, but our actions and the things that unfold in this present timeline right now are going to determine whether or not that war comes about or how it comes about. Um, so the last two interpretations of that, um, sentence are kind of the ones that I'm feeling. Um, so that's my little revelation and interpretation of movies for the day. 
Um, there you go. Let me know if you have any comments. Please feel free to share anything from my channel. Um, this is just for everyone to see, comment on, um, see if it resonates with them, or you can totally argue with me. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> have a good day.